everyone, Hope for okay. My name's Cory and I have my own YouTube channel called Dizzy Brunette Free. And every single week I'm gonna be talking all things beauty, skincare, and makeup. So today I'm gonna be talking about my top four favourite products for getting flawless, flawless skin. The four skincare products that I use in my everyday kind of skincare routine and makeup routine that I use when I want my skin to be cleared up and looking a lot more flawless. <music> First of all, I'm going to start off with a face mask, and this is the Yes Two Tomatoes Combination Skin Clearing Facial Mask. This is like a clay consistency, so it's really good if you've got oily skin because it kind of draws out impurities, um, and it kind of really is really good at clearing up the skin. It's got aloe vera in, so basically that kind of balances everything and calms any redness and angry spots that you may have. And then also, it has tomatoes in, which I've never actually heard of being really good for skin but it actually really, really works. I find that my skin looks a lot clearer and calmer after using this, and I use it about once a week. Um, I kind of rotate around different masks, but I tend to use this probably the most, and I just feel that it kind of keeps everything under control. When I do have a really big breakout, I go for one of my more kind of heavier masks, but this is a really good one that's not too expensive either. I think it's under 10 pounds, and it's good at just keeping everything nice and calm and clear. Next up is a toner, and I literally could not be about a toner when it comes to my skin. I just feel that it's a really essential step after cleansing my skin, and it just kind of adds a little bit more. I've recently been using the La Roche-Posay Zero Sink, and this is a zinc sulfate solution. It's basically a facial spray, which you can either spray onto your face like this, or put some onto cotton wool and use it like a usual toner. This used to only be available in Europe, but thankfully it's come over to the UK. It has um, zinc sulfate in, which is amazing for helping to heal up spots and blemishes. It's a really, really good ingredient. So basically it's really, really nice and calming. It doesn't make your skin like feel sensitive or sting at all, which a lot of spot treatments can do. And it just keeps everything nice and calm. It kind of helps to reduce redness. It helps with spots. And if you are having a clear skin day, again, it helps to kind of keep everything under control. Next up, we have a facial oil. And a lot of people think that if you have oily skin, you should stay well away from oils and moisturizers. I happen to disagree because I find that a lot of the time when my skin is kind of acting up, it's really oily, I've got lots of blemishes. I think a lot of the time it's because it's dehydrated and it needs some TLC. This is when I tend to turn to an oil. I tend to put an oil on about once to twice a week so I'm not overloading my skin. But this is the S5 Replenish Serum and it's actually for dry or scarred skin. It's got rosehip oil in which is great for kind of covering, um, for fading blemishes and scars and red marks. Because when I have a breakout, the marks tend to stay around for a long time afterwards so I always want something that's going to heal the whole process up completely. This is also really good for putting on spots. I have had a lot of under the skin spots recently and they are just a nightmare because there's not much you can do to them. You can't squeeze them which is disgusting but they're under the skin and they're really sore but this tends to bring everything to the surface. I put this on two really horrible under the skin spots. I woke up the next day and all the gunk had risen to the top which is really disgusting but it basically meant that when I went to cleanse my face, all the gunk came out and the spot was basically healed the next day. So maybe trying to put an oil on them, there's lots of different facial oils out there, can actually help the skin to heal. And I always find that instead of drying out the spot, it's better to maybe give the spot lots of moisturization and also that means you're less likely for it to scar afterwards. So I absolutely swear by having an oil in my skincare routine and my face has actually been, it's very, funny how it works out, my face has actually been less oilier since using the oil. So don't be scared of oils, they really are good at kind of helping to clear everything up and making your skin a lot more kind of moisturised and just a lot more flawless. The final thing that I wouldn't be without when trying to like either fake flawless skin or to help my face look a lot more flawless is a good concealer because I could use all the skincare products in the world but when you've got a spot you've got a spot and there's no way of getting rid of it unfortunately. So I tend to just kind of put on some concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and it's a really good drugstore concealer. Really creamy, really blendable and it's a good medium coverage. You need a couple of layers for covering up like a really big red spot but it's just a really, really nice concealer and I just find that using a lower coverage foundation with a higher coverage concealer really gives the illusion of naturally flawless skin. So even though you may not have flawless skin and you're trying your best to get rid of everything, sometimes you need a little bit of help to just kind of cover everything up and to fool everyone. 
So those are my top four favorite products for flawless skin. Obviously, you know, it's very hard to have flawless skin, but I find these products have been really helping to clear everything up when I have been having a breakout or my skin's been looking especially oily. So let me know your favorite products that you use to keep your skin looking flawless. I love finding out about new skincare products. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and to subscribe to both this channel and my channel as well, which will be linked in the down bar down below. So thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.